In this tutorial in CyberLink Color Director, I'd like to show you how you can mask a moving object and then apply a green screen effect to use it in your project. We're going to show you a short clip of a somewhat finished example and then we'll show you how to do that using Color Director. In this particular project, I have my video of the rotating orange on track 2 and we'll superimpose it over the cupcake on track number 1. So if I click on track 2, then I have to click on my Tools button and then I'll use Color Grading by Color Director. That will open up my Color Director screen. The first thing I want to do is click on the second icon from the left under Regional Adjustment Tools. That will give me a brush that I can use to highlight the orange. I can choose the mask size. I'm going to click on this area here. I'll hold the Alt key down because it selected more than I wanted. And we'll take a little bit of the base area out here. And that's a good thing to start with. Now we're going to use the automated selecting tool, which is below. If I click on the one which is the dotted circle with the arrow, that will automatically do my selection frame by frame as the object moves. In this case, this is a great object to have because the contrast is high and it will do a pretty good job of selecting only the orange and nothing else. If there are areas I have to change, I would have to adjust this frame by frame. We'll just do part of it and then pause the video. And now with the area selected, I receive this message. I'm OK with it. I'm going to click on the OK button in the lower right corner. Now what I want to do now is invert the mask. I have the orange selected. I'm going to select every other area. So I click on the invert mask to the left of the trash can on the left panel. Now everything else is selected. Now what I'm going to do is go down to green slash blue screen maker and we'll click the arrow to highlight that particular tool so we can see what we want to do. We're going to use the green screen, so I'll click here. And it's available for only one mask at a time. I'm OK with that. I'll click on OK. And now I have this applied. When I'm done with it, all I need to do is click on File and Exit. And now I have it adjusted in my video. So if I play this, you notice it plays with a green screen background. What I want to do now is highlight my modified clip. And then I'm going to double click on it. And then we're going to choose one of the properties of it now, which is my chroma key. I'll turn my chroma key on, click on that and click on the green screen. Click on OK. I can take my orange and I can resize it or reposition it any way I want. If we want to say add orange to your cupcake, we'll put it over here. And then when we play this segment, we'll find that my orange video, just the orange part of it, will rotate as I apply this in my particular project in CyberLink PowerDirector.